Hello again, PowerBot. I am here with my second tutorial. This tutorial will be how to add Antiban to script. This video should be a lot shorter because <laughs> it's pretty simple. I have the exact same script I used in the first one, the Power Chopper, but now I added this Antiban code. This is the only code that's changed so far. So I've added this. Notice how everything else is the same. If you watched my previous video. I will paste this code in the description too. Basically just public void antiban. I don't I won't even try to explain all this, but just copy and paste this code unless you're actually interested in understanding it. I'll I'll explain some. This anti it's basically like a switch. Like every time you declare this in your loop, um it it will pick um a random number between one and ten. If that number is um one it will then pick another number between one and ten and if that number equals five it will do antiban right here such as move the mouse and sleep for a second and if that one and ten up here if that equals two and then it chooses another number between one and thirteen equal equals two it'll tilt your screen and so on such as moving mouse off screen or checking your xp by get, it opens your game tab and hovers over inner, your woodcutting so it will kind of like check how much XP looks more human like now this is how you put like where you want the anti-band to occur like hey I want to I want to add anti-band after it clicks on shop to the tree so you paste this anti-band left right parenthesis semicolon so right after it clicks chop on the tree it will run through this antiban cycle, the 1 through 10, then like the other numbers if the first one's selected. So just paste this code above your loop and, and below your on start. Make sure there are no errors on the side right here. And um, so right here, after it clicks on chop, it will do the chance of antiban. So you can see here, it picks a random number, and if that number is one, two, three, or four, it'll choose another random number. And if it equals the numbers right here, yeah, I explained it. So I hope this tutorial helped you. I'll paste this code again on um paste bin or pasty and put the link up along with the full code. Like this whole thing finished as it is right now. And um hope to see you guys again soon. I'll probably um upload another video before the day ends. Thank you for your support. If you have any questions or comments, just do so on the on this YouTube video or on the PowerBot thread. Thank you.